Hey guys, it's me Rahul back with another video. Today I'll be checking out some Android emulators. So if you don't know what an emulator is, it is essentially a piece of hardware or a software which enables one piece of technology to behave like another. In this case, we are basically transforming a Windows PC to behave like an Android system, so to speak. Using Android emulators on your PC is not gonna enable you to play very high-end Android games because that is not how it works. Android emulators for PC are of two types. One is an app-based, another one is OS-based. I personally prefer the OS type Android emulators because it feels more like Android. But if you just want to play some games on your PC, you should definitely choose the app-like ones because they are designed and optimized for users like you. So let's get started. First, we are going to look at possibly the popular Android emulator, Bluestacks. Bluestacks is the first Android emulator that I have tried and it has improved a lot since then. They have completely redistanned the UI from the last time that I have used this. You can easily install any Android app onto Bluestacks by just opening the APK file with Bluestacks. I have tested a Bluestacks with some apps and games and it worked really well. I could play racing games with arrow keys and WSD keys and everything else works perfect. I know for a fact that a lot of people want to use Bluestacks for playing games like Clash of Clans and it is totally playable with Bluestacks. It is a really good option if you just want to play some games and run some Android apps on your PC. A perfect example for the OS type Android emulator is Remix OS or Remix Player. I'm using the Remix Player because it is much easier to set up. But if you just want to install Android on your old PC or something, you should definitely go with Remix OS. Both are exactly the same, so don't worry about the functionality or features. As I said earlier, it is more like a dedicated operating system than an emulator. So for making this video, I downloaded the Remix Player again and used it for a couple of minutes and the app lags like hell. I don't know what happened, maybe there is a problem with my PC, but I have used this app a couple of months ago and it worked really well and it is one of my favorite android emulator so check it out guys anti is the next emulator that i have for you guys it is a traditional android skinned emulator with some added features such as key remapping and gamepad support to play games you can install apks directly from windows to anti and is running on android version 4.2 that is jelly bean that is the only serious downside to this software but most of the games and apps will work just fine. I cannot get the gamepad to work correctly. I think there are some bugs, but other than that, it is a solid choice as well. Next template on the list is Nox Player. I haven't actually used this one before making this video, and I have to say I'm impressed by it. I think Nox Player is not that popular, but it is one of the best emulators for playing Android games on your PC. All the usual features are there in this emulator too, like side loading APKs, macro, key remapping, two finger control, screen capture, controller support, etc. The UI is very smooth as well. I haven't had any lags or glitches while playing some Android games. Of course, you cannot play very very high-end android games on these emulators because emulators are not made for that but in nox player even games with really high quality graphics runs pretty smoothly it is definitely a complete android emulator so we are on to the last one phoenix os this one is a dedicated android os for your pc you cannot run phoenix os inside windows without using some virtualization softwares i came across a lot of problems while trying to install it on my pc and my laptop and I couldn't get it to work. Then I finally managed to install Phoenix OS on my brother's laptop, but I again faced some problems. There was a huge lag for five minutes when I first boot up the OS, but after that five minutes, things began to run pretty smoothly. I would say this, this is not for, this Phoenix OS is not for gaming. You could play games on Phoenix OS, it is powerful, but it is not made for gaming. You know what I mean? You want to keep that in mind while deciding which emulator that you want to use. But the OS is future packed, it is a good alternative to Linux or Ubuntu. If you have a laptop just lying around and nobody is using it, then I highly recommend you to try this on it and you will not regret it. And that's pretty much it guys, hope you guys liked this video. If you did give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Goodbye. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could
could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin